Okay, this is a confidence level interval, a confidence interval problem. A confidence interval means this. <clears throat> we get a sample, and from the sample, we get a sample mean. Then we develop a margin of error, and we add that margin of error to the sample mean and subtract that same margin of error from the sample mean to get what we call what we think the population mean is a, a range of data that is what we think the population range is. So I'll explain that as we go. So let's read this. A fitness center is interested in funding, finding a 95% confidence interval for the mean number of days a week. That fitness, uh, go to a fitness center, and the sample size is 219 members, and the mean number of visits a week was 3.4, and the standard deviation was 2.6. Ron answers the three decimal places. All right, so when we do know the, if we do not know the population standard deviation and we don't, it gives us the sample standard deviation, not the population, we use the T, okay? If we did know the population standard deviation, we would use the Z, okay? All right, so what it's saying is, <clears throat> is that um, if the sample mean is 3.4, what with 95% confidence do we think that the population mean is? between what number and what number, okay? Between these two numbers is our answer, but let's see how we get there. So let's go to our sheet. Our sample size is 219, okay? And that would go here. And our mean, of course, you're gonna have this spreadsheet in the email or on or wherever it's coming from. Um, let's see, mean is 3.4, standard deviation is 2.6, 3.4. 2.6 and our T confidence level because that's what you're using. You want to use T or Z. Don't use both, you know. Um, and if it if you're using T, your answers will come up here. And uh, confidence level is 0.95, 95% confidence. Okay, so now here's what that means. The MOE, the margin of error, is 0.346272. Okay, so we take our mean, which is 3.4. And we subtract the margin of error, 0.346, and we get this number. So that's our lower end of the spectrum. And then we take that same mean, 3.4, and add that margin of error, and we come up with this number. So we could say that with 95% confidence that the population mean is between 3.054 and 3.746, when you run correctly, okay? All right. So with 95% population, the mean number of visits per week is between 3.054 and 3.746. So if we go down here to the next part, if many groups of 219 selected members are studied, about 95% of these confidence intervals will contain the true population, which is where, you know, what we're saying by this, and about 5% uh, will not contain the true population. Uh, mean visits per week, okay?